and just relax deeper. Things that make you feel smarter, stronger, more confident, they're gonna increase in direct proportion to the amount of pleasure you can feel. So, big picture, I take his head, I take his hip, I drop it. The best thing about the past is that it's gone. The things you're carrying around in your head, they have information that's distorted. They're imperfect photographs. Is there a significant shift from their normal baseline behavior when they lie? The fastest way to make someone fall in love with you. I'm teaching you to take the randomness out of it. And by the way, this is not positive eye contact. <laughs> My name is David Snyder. I am a certified practitioner and trainer in neurolinguistic programming, licensed acupuncturist and diplomate of oriental medicine, also a certified hypnosis trainer. I was I teach self-defense. But what do all these things have in common? Two words, pattern recognition. Learning how to understand and pay attention to the body in ways that most people don't even realize are possible. My specialty is the treatment and elimination of illness that has as its cause repressed emotion. Welcome to Face Reading and Secrets of Chinese Medical Hypnotherapy, the course that never existed until today. <laughs> this class, like I said, is a, is a synthesis of several dis different disciplines with a large part of it coming from my experiences in the, uh, in the realm and, the, and the, the, the field of Chinese facial diagnosis, Chinese medical facial diagnosis, which actually has a very long history um, in the Chinese uh, Chinese culture, at least 5,000 years that we know of, okay? Um, Chinese uh, facial diagnosis is a very large part of Chinese medicine. We can diagnose pretty much the entire system of the body through facial change, coloration changes in the face. Different areas of the body correspond to different organ systems and things like that. We're going to go through this in a more... Let's all turn our cell phones off. I, I'm one of the biggest offenders of that. I was teaching a webinar last night. My cell phone went off nine times. And it was the same person every time. Yeah. <laughs> this is the class on energetic psychotherapy. That's what I call it. Okay? There's going to be a very strong energetic component in what we do. There's going to be a very strong spiritual component in what we do. And what I mean by that is, and it doesn't really, it's not about religion. So per se, it's about understanding that you are more than this physical body. That there is a totality to your being that is processed holographically. Like white light is passed through a prism, we express information as it passes through our system on multiple channels, multiple levels simultaneously. The Chinese embraced this idea many, many centuries ago. Uh, in our, modern, in our modern, modern terminology, in our modern jargon, we would call it holographic or fractal, okay? Um, in going through many of the aspects of this process, um, I saw a lot of correlations and crossovers between what we do as hypnotherapists and what Chinese face reading is trying to do in, in its own way. So, there are many different aspects to the face. This one, the one you guys keep taking pictures of, which by the way is in your notes. <laughs> right? It's just not in full color. This is the emotional map of the face. When we start looking at profiling people, like I said before, I, I do it in a very systematic way. The way I was taught, we, we learned all about Jing first. Then we learned all about qi, which is personality and temperament. Then we learned about the shen, which is the sexuality, the uh, romance, psychopathy, things like that. Um, there's a lot of things that are, they're all, it's all important, but depending on where you're going to be applying your information, some things are more important than others, right? So the first thing we want to look at, we began with, was separating into yin and yang, right? So we have this divide across. And we have yin and yang to the right, yin and yang to the left, right? So when we start to look at people, the first thing we look at is we, we try to look at the, he, the, you know, the overall features that jump out at us. We want to look at their inner nature versus their outer nature, right? So we look at people through our right side, we look at their right side, we will see the face they want us to see. We look at them through our left eye at their left side, we'll see the face they keep behind closed doors. But what do we look for? We look for emotions. 
We look for differences in the symmetry. Okay? So as we look, if we have lines above our eye in this area, this indicates somebody who has a healthy degree of skepticism. Right? These are people who don't take anything at face value. They have to see it, they have to experience it, and, they, and, and it's an area. So, right? skepticism. Next line we want. Yes? You were saying healthy skepticism. Mm -hmm. Is there a point where you can tell maybe it's too much? If like, they're very deep. Right? right? If they're very, remember, the intensity of the trait is measured by the depth and the breadth of the, of the, of the marking. Okay? Just like in handwriting analysis, the intensity of emotional expression is related to the handwriting pressure and the slant. Okay? We can look at the intensity or the depth of a feeling or emotion or an issue or a trait by how, how deeply it's marked, that area. 